As I stepped out of the train, and there to meet me was my mama. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Pearl Innocent Chill, and what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. All right, well, 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 this is the centennial, a hundred episodes to date, right here and now. Fantastic, isn't it? The first thing you gotta do is this, all right? You gotta congratulate yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back for what you've been going through, huh? Hey, what do you call this? What do you call this? Huh? <laughs> I call this success, is what I call this. You know what I'm talking? I'm talking success. I'm not talking coffee or a boiga. I'm talking success. To be honest, right here and now, at the moment, it's spring. Can you believe it? It's spring. The sun is shining. That's not to say I caught my tan in this country, but they're not doing too bad at all. I can honestly say that. But hey, you know what? There's more to come. I've got a number of friends who are students at the moment, and I keep telling them to get their head down. Study, study, study. They've been chosen to go to college for a certain reason, because they've got a gift. The weather's not going to go away, and they'll still be able to dead men and women when they come out of college. Get your head down. I think the person I'm talking to knows who I'm talking to. Anyway, I heard this week that the Northern Ireland Martin McGinnis passed on. 66 years of age. It was a wee age. It was no age at all, was it not? Can you believe it? I've got to be honest. It's, it was a good man to have actually brought the peace process from the IRA to the fore. So I'm very happy that he was actually born in the first instance to bring peace and harmony to that part of the world. But uh, on to other matters. Um, auditions. You know what? I've got four lined up. One for a film. Can you believe it? And uh, it, it's looking good. It's looking very good. It's via a friend of a friend that I got this audition. And I'm hoping it's going to go very, very well. Yes, that's on Wednesday. So there you are. Two commercials, which I'm looking forward to doing. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's, let's see what happens. Um, and a stage. I say a stage play. As you know, stage is all about that. Whereas TV is all about just letting the... Eyes do the work, really. Nothing more. Anyway, I look forward to all of them. That's just, just looking good, so I'm very, very happy that they've evolved, as they say. So, we'll see what happens. But, uh, there you are. So, anyway, go give yourself a bloody pat on back. I say a pat on back. We're going successfully come through a hundred. I say a hundred bloody episodes right here and now of the Paul Innocent Channel. All you folks down under uh, in Australia, give yourself a flaming pat on the back, all right? Now, I know you've got to be some sort of contortionist to do that, but if you can't give yourself a pat on the back, call your buddy over and ask him to pat you and say, thanks be the Paul Innocent and the rest of the clan for managing to get through this uh, of baloo, all right? And, and don't forget in Cardiff, all right, as well, give yourself a pat on the back, as they say. Again, you're not, you don't have to be a contortionist to do it, do you, huh? You just do your best. And, uh, you know, and don't forget in North Wales is different as well, you know, towards the Anthony Hopkins and Tom Jones territory. You have to give yourself a pat on the back as well there, all right? You all deserve it. A hundred bloody episodes is something else. That's some sort of achievement, isn't it? And as Paul Innocent would say, it's an achievement! And that's the same with you guys in L.A. My God, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, we got, like, uh, we got throw. Do you not think? Back in Glasgow. Oh, walk away with ye. You give yourself a pat on the back there as well. Again, don't try and contort yourself out of a contortion. Otherwise, you'll end up dislocating arm, leg, everything. It's not worth it. I mean, it's a video channel. That's it. You don't break your arm or your leg to give yourself a pat on the back. That right. It's not right. And the same in Edinburgh as well. Give yourselves a wee pat on the back. All right. All you people in the Leith, give yourself a pat on the back. And all you people in Princess Street, a wee pat on the back goes a long way, does it not? I believe down towards Texas as well, you got to give yourself a pat on the back. It's only just, I believe it's only just, you got to do that. You got to get a leg up sometimes and do what you got to do. But it's got to happen, no matter what happens. A dare! Give yourself pat on the back! Yeah! Don't forget it, you're going to give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. 
And don't forget, give yourself a pat on the back, all right? You've done marvellously, marvellously. And don't forget, you are going to give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very good. And don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back. You've done bloody amazing. Amazing. A pat on the back is warranted. A pat on the back is warranted. So give yourself a pat on the back. And don't hesitate to do so. All right, senorita, you're going to give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, la, 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 la. What, what is happening here? What you are talking about? Hey, 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 I'm filming here. I'm filming here. Anyway, that's it for this week's episode of The Pearl Innocent Channel and what it's like to really be an actor celebrating its centennial in Great Britain. To all you mugs who turned up here, who think you're the bosses via your terror antics, we will not be moved. We're Brits. We are not made of spandex. So get it together and proxy go one and go back to where your things were made. Here's the story, son. From the beginning to the end, us Brits will not be lied, all right?